Located on the Bayram Estate in Nibong, Tabal, this 158-year-old mansion is known as the 99-door mansion due to the odd arrangement of five to six doors fitted into each room. It was built during the 1840s by one of the wealthiest families from England, the Ramsden family. On a chance, this family moved to Malaysia to grow their fortune by beginning a rubber tree plantation. The Ramsden soon found more success with a thriving plantation that allowed them to construct their dream home. The Caledonia House has remained throughout as a tremendous display of wealth, and serving a variety of purposes. Living quarters, dance hall, an administrative building for the plantation, and even the headquarters for the officers of the occupying Japanese army during World War II. Their mansion, however, was to be tarnished in June 1948 after their grandson, John St. Maurer Ramsden, was murdered. John, who is the managing director of Penang Rubber Estate Group was shot twice in the back of the head as he was climbing one of the stairs in the mansion. The murderer was never found. Some have speculated that a jealous rival of the family was responsible for the murder, yet the case was never solved. Various suspects were arrested, detained, and even put on trial, but no one was found guilty, with the magistrate declaring that, there is no evidence against any particular person. The grave of John Ramsden lies in Georgetown's Western Road Cemetery. By the 1950s, the 99-door mansion had been completely abandoned. Some people say that the entire Ramsden family died upon the grounds, which seemed to be cursed for them. Rumors exist that the home was occupied by the invading Japanese and they were the ones who killed the Ramsdens. However, this theory remains unsubstantiated. It is said that after the mansion became abandoned, a bomo moved into the house. In Malaysia, a bomo is a form of shaman, similar to a witch doctor, and this particular bomo practiced scarily dark arts. Supposedly, the bomo used the house to contact the other side. Once word of this grew throughout the community, people would visit the mansion to contact the dead or have evil curses placed upon their nemesis. Though the mansion is uninhabited and dangerously rotted away today, many people believe that the mansion's past has left behind paranormal stains. Legend has it that as the clock strikes 12 a.m. each night, a special 100th door, hidden within the mansion appears and opens. This acts as a portal to the other side and allegedly allows dark, evil spirits to enter our dimension as they please. These dark spirits are cursed and have been described as having soulless black eyes. Some of the paranormal activity reportedly experienced within the house includes the sounds of ritual drums being beaten in and around the mansion, being scratched by unseen entities, growls, screams and even possessions. Some said that they even heard sound of unexplained heavy footsteps running up an empty staircase. Till this day, locals swear that they hear mysterious sounds coming from within its walls, and they would not go anywhere near the mansion. Today, the Byram Estate, where the abandoned mansion is located is owned by S.J. Lee and managed by a caretaker, named S. Munyamah.